Hi, this is Mobile Video Editing. In this episode, I'll show you how to display text behind the subject of your video in LumaFusion using a method that is different than the one that I showed you a few weeks ago. For this tutorial, we will be creating this example. Before we get started, I would like to let you know that I'm changing the name of this channel from Mobile Video Editing to Manantial VE, all in one word. Currently, if you search for Mobile Video Editing on YouTube, this channel won't appear in the results. I'm changing the name of the channel in order to remedy that. I would like to thank my friend Tami Sepniewski for pointing out this issue to me. If you are not familiar with her channel, please pay her a visit for plenty of tutorials on LumaFusion and other filmmaking related topics. Now let's get back to work. This is the footage that I will be using for this tutorial. The footage that you choose to use should have a background with a close to uniform color behind the subject. This close to uniform color doesn't need to extend to the whole background, but just to the area where the text will be placed. We start in LumaFusion with two copies of the clip that you will be using already placed in the timeline. Color grading has already been done. The first copy of the clip will remain unchanged and will be used as background. The second copy of the clip will be used to key out the background color using chroma key. This will isolate the subject. The third clip in the timeline is a title of the exact same duration as the other two clips containing a rectangular shape of uniform color fully covering the viewing area. For the rectangular shape, use a color that doesn't appear in your footage. This title will be used to spot imperfections in the chroma key effect applied to isolate the subject from the background. As you can see, the color I selected is magenta. Drag the clip that will be used for the subject isolation on top of the clip containing the color title. Edit the clip you just dragged. Tap on the Colors and Effects tab and select the chroma key section. Select the chroma key preset that most closely resembles the color of your background. For the footage I'm using, I selected the blue screen key. You may find that none of the key presets available in LumaFusion has a color close enough to the color of the background that you want to key out. If that's the case, select the key color by using the color picker to sample the background color. Adjust the chroma key settings as needed. Scroll throughout the clip to make sure that the settings work for the whole clip and none of the color of the title below bleeds into your subject. Once you're done, exit back to the timeline. Drag the clip you just edited and place it above the original clip, but leave an empty track between them. Now, place a new title on the track you left empty. Extend the duration of the title so it matches the duration of the clips above and below it. Edit the title and change the text, font, size and alignment as you see fit. I chose a white face color and a black edge, but any color will work. Go to the Frame and Fit tab and fine-tune the size and position of the title so part of the text is obscured by your subject. Exit back to the timeline. This is how it looks like now. Now it's time to get creative with the text. Edit the title. For this tutorial, I will take advantage of the fact that I used a white face color for the text. Tap on the Frame and Fit tab. Select the Blending section. Change the Blend Mode to Overlay. As you've learned in the Overlay tutorial I posted a while ago, the bottom track containing the original clip 
is preferred and affects the texture of the clip. This is how it looks like now. Here are some additional ideas. Instead of applying the overlay blend mode, you can use a color for the text that doesn't appear in your footage. Then render the video and replace the color of the text with a video of your choice using chroma key. You could also have multiple layers of isolation. Take a look at this example. This is the original footage. This is the reflection of the moon added. This is the same footage with the reflection of the trees in the water isolated. Now with stars added. Then with the moon added. And finally with the tree tops isolated. Using applications like Fonto and the overlay blend mode, you can make the text appear as if it was written in the ground. Also, instead of isolating the background, if your subject is of uniform color, you could isolate the subject and reverse the key. So this is it for this episode. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to this channel, give it a like and click on the bell so you are notified when I post new videos. Thank you for watching. Keep in mind the new name of this channel, Manancial VE, all in one word, and I'll see you on the next one.